Imagine a tender and juicy cod fillet topped with crispy and cheesy walnut crust. Sounds amazing, right? Well, that's exactly what this keto Mediterranean cut with walnut crust is. Let's make the crust. Place a quarter of a cup walnuts in a food processor and pulse until they're coarsely chopped. You can use a knife to chop them by hand, but make sure they're not too fine or too large. Next, add three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of dried dill, one teaspoon of dried parsley, a quarter of a teaspoon salt and an eighth of a teaspoon black pepper, a teaspoon of lemon zest and two tablespoons of melted and salted butter. Pulse until well combined. You should end up with a crumbly and moist mixture that sticks together when pressed. If the mixture is too dry, you can add a little bit more butter and if the mixture is too wet, you can add more cheese or walnuts. Grease an oven proof dish with butter or olive oil or you can use even cooking spray if you prefer. I'm using cod fillets today as it's a great choice for this recipe. It has a mild and delicate flavor that goes well with the cheese and crunchy crust. Put the cod fillets dry with some paper towel and place them in a single layer on the prepared baking dish. Spoon the walnut mixture evenly on the top of each fillet, pressing gently. You can use spatula or your hands. I use mine as it's much easier. You want to cover the entire surface of the fish with the crust. Add some broccoli and cauliflower or any other vegetables you like. This makes a perfect low carb and keto friendly dish. Place some butter on top of the vegetables and sprinkle with salt and pepper or any other herbs you like on your veggies. Bake your keto dinner in a preheated oven to 360 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the fish flakes easily with a fork and the crust is golden and crispy. Keto main course done. What about dessert? Next week I will share with you the best keto dessert recipe to go with this 